Well, we're going to make a start on uh, building the first of the raised beds. Managed to get hold of some cheap second-hand uh, scaffold boards. So um, we uh, did a, a deal, myself and my allotment neighbour. So we've bought 20 boards each. And a standard scaffold board is 3.9 metres long. So what I've done is I've kept 15 at 3.9 metres and then I've cut five up into 1.3 metre lengths each. So that gives me three sections out of each board um, and they will basically create the, the narrow section on the beds. My intention is that um, I'll do the first bed starting so it is one meter in and one meter off and then it will run straight up that way so uh, I'm going to set out the timber work now and then show you how I'm fixing it so just to uh, give you an idea before I start screwing together that's the size that we'll end up with and all I'm going to do is put a screw there and there and that will fix into this end on the upright so uh, let's get cracking so as I say you can see drilled through there and there um, despite these having a bit of a, a metal end to them the uh, decent screws so they will go through no problem you know it's a little bit of rust on so these these are some older screws that I've taken out from other things, no point buying absolutely brand new for this sort of job. So one corner down, got the other three to go. So screwed together both ends onto the panels and um, we've managed to get it square. Now the easiest way to see if it's square, if you don't have a, a set square to hand, use a tape measure and run the tape measure from one corner to opposite corner and that will give you your reading and then do the same again from opposing corner to opposing corner and those that reading from there or that measurement from that corner and that should be the same if they're not the same then it means it's not square in which case the easiest way to do that is for one person to stand or hold that corner and then the other person to move that end either left or right until your measurements are the same as that's all there is to it really so that's how to get your bed square next thing we're going to do is just put a spirit level on the sides just to see uh, how much it's out by and then in order to get it roughly level we'll then just probably dig out some of that end some of this loose just to enable us to bed down the uh, the boards a little bit so that's the next job is just to get a spirit level on it right roughly leveled it's using the spirit level and just sort of doing some crude digging around the edges to enable the boards to sink down or yeah sink down and then cut some sections again just some old uh, remnants of timber and they are going to act as fixing posts so we're just going to use this little club hammer to knock them in uh, I I'm leaving a bit of a gap from the very corner and the reason being is that at a later date uh, I may wish to add some supports to run some hoops uh, just to you know depends what you're going to grow but hoops are always handy if you're needing to have some um, winter protection you know put some fleecing over the hoops or polythene something like that so for that reason leaving a bit of a gap and going to start on this corner and once we get one corner done, we will then proceed to the furthest point 
with a spirit level on it to enable us to then put in the next peg. So, with my helper, we'll get this in now. Down did it go, halfway. So, first peg in, finishing just below the top of the board. Just going to put a couple of screws in just to anchor the boards onto the post. And then repeat process at the far end, as we said earlier. So pegs, one, two, three, all in and level. And so if you've done it right and got it level all the way through, then you'll be level when you come to do your last peg. Um, my tip is get your two pegs in that side, then check your measurements again just to make sure that you haven't accidentally knocked the board so you're out of alignment. So uh, yeah, we'll just get this peg in and uh, that'll be finished. So um, just had a thought what I should have said first time round on screwing together all the bits. You just put your first screw in, then that way as you're going through and doing your leveling, it gives you a bit of moving of the board. And then once you've got everything all level, you then put your second screw in at the lower down point and that uh, fixes it all into place. So as I'm doing this after work, it is now getting pretty dark. Um, all I'm just gonna do is just uh, lightly use a, sp or use a spade to lightly get some of the soil in along the edge of this timber and that'll just uh, stop it from bowing, hold it all in place. So that's what I'll get done now. So I'm not sure if you can see exactly as it's uh, just gone eight o'clock now. Um, so getting fairly dark, but uh, leveled all the way around just um, by whacking in the soil around the edges just helps to stop the boards from moving out. Uh, if you can, you can put some intermediate pegs in as well. That just stop the movement. And so this is first stage done, just setting out the first bed, ready to then get some decent soil and uh, compost and things like that in it. But uh, that's the first one done.